Oh, 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 Lily asks, What's boy culture like in Korea and what's the ideal type? Are they usually like the guys we see in dramas? We nasties really need to know. So we asked Susie about this and she found a couple interesting resources. The first one was a survey taken by women about what their ideal type is in men. And the second one was a satirical blog post about exactly how picky girls can be when it comes to meeting their ideal boyfriend. Now, obviously, this is not going to be what every Korean girl wants. Like, Susie does not agree with these things, but this is kind of like that overarching theme that girls might talk about with each other, things that they're looking for in guys. And there's also a lot of blind date culture in Korea, or as it's called in Korean, SOGETING! That's the Jamaican way of saying it. It's more like SOGETING, blind date hookups. Sounds better than blind date. SOGETING, this ting. So gay. Now there are some obvious characteristics when it comes to an ideal type that can be understood pretty much universally, such yeah. as having a buff body, having great fashion sense, have a cheerful and bright personality, don't lose your temper and be polite, has a charming smile, be good at sex, listens to what women say. Now if you ask me, I don't really know anyone that would disagree with these, like I'm not looking for a guy who has a buff body. I or would like someone. somebody who is rude and who doesn't listen to me. I'm looking for someone with a creepy leer, like boy that was an excellent sex session since I'm so good at it. I'm I'm going to put on my fashion clothing and time for my charming smile. <laughs> Relationship over. After that, there are some characteristics that seem to be specifically embedded in Korean culture, mm -hmm. not necessarily something that we're familiar with ourselves. One of them, for example, is you having to graduate from one of the specific Sky universities. That's mm. Seoul University, Korea University, or Yonsei University. Are you sure it's not like super cookie yummy? Cookie starts with a C. Not all Seems cookie. like you failed that university. Oh. No, I don't know about you, but I've never really cared about what university somebody graduates from and that wouldn't really be like a mm -hmm. fact that I'm looking for in a relationship. Yeah, the thing that people may not realize about Korea is that there are tons of universities you can go to in Korea. Everywhere. But there are just the three that are like the most competitive. So pretty much if you don't go to one of these universities, you can't get a girlfriend ever. Well, that's not true. You're generalizing, You will but not be someone's ideal type. You want to know what the lowest form of university is in Korea between dating culture? Art school. Art school. Susie, didn't you go to art school? <laughs> we love Susie. Susie's you guys great. love Susie. Another one of the requirements is that you have a job that earns you over 100 million Korean won a year, which mm -hmm. is roughly $100,000. And you have to be either a public government employee or you have to work for one of the major companies like Samsung or LG or Kia or whatnot. So basically working for like a well-known brand, that kind of a company. The problem is, is that these companies are really stressful to work at. Yeah. You might be getting paid well, you but you're going to work insane crazy. insane hours. When are you going to have time to date somebody if you're working up until midnight all the time? These companies require a lot of dedication. Like some people live on campus. Like we went to, where did we go? Was it LG we went to? Right. And we saw that they have like dorm life for you people You live there. at the factory you work in. Yeah. Another requirement is that you have to be 180 centimeters or taller, which pretty much means that you will never date a K-pop idol except for maybe like three of them. Oh boy. I'm sorry. Oh boy. A lot of the, look, a lot of the profiles say that they're that tall. It's more like their ideal height, but not their actual height. Hey, listen, I, I have to say this. I know that in North America that a lot of girls they want to date tall guys it's kind of like a thing I found that some of my students would rather date I did like a survey with them right this was bizarre yeah we were talking about describing people's appearances and that kind uh -huh. of stuff yeah. and um, one of the things they talked about was they would rather date like a tall good-looking guy who treats them really poorly than a short good-looking guy that treats them really well and I said to them I'm like no like self-esteem Martina came out Satis and I was like relationship satisfaction should be more no. important than how tall another interesting requirement is that the ideal guy should have studied for one year in another country. It's usually an English speaking yeah, country is what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to be a little more worldly so you can speak other languages. Yeah. But I have heard the key of it being one year is because you've been studying for a year, not yes. that you've been screwing around. Because yeah. if you go, as we know from heirs, if you go overseas for more than a year, you'll start hanging around with crazy party people who do nothing but drugs all the time. From your, yeah, exactly. So one year is kind of like that safety bubble of like, I didn't go there and like shack up with somebody. I went there to study. I came back and I speak English. And, and speaking now. of it, you need to have a TOEIC score of at least 850. I don't actually know what 850 means, to be honest, because I've never taken TOEIC. The TOEIC so What's TOEIC teaching? The, the, the total... Tomatoes over, over interesting... Interesting think, English Susie. calculation. Susie, what does TOEIC What's mean? What's TOEIC mean? TOEIC is a test. No, no what, what does it mean? TOEIC. 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 Over... Something something English... <laughs> <laughs> Susie failed! Susie failed! Susie, failed. Oh Susie did you take a TOEIC test? What's your TOEIC score? 930? I got 930. Uh, wrong? Susie's the Susie ideal type. Susie's the ideal type. Oh. She lived overseas. I just want to know like how you like flirt with girls and be like, hey baby, 
Check out my Tobuk story. You see that? Ooh, Wait, you like give that? Give your charm a smile. Go. Okay. Ah. okay, well, now you just lost her. 870. You like that, don't you, girl? And what's your height? Ooh, I'm, well, I'm 195 centimeters. You like that, girl? Ooh, you like Ooh. them numbers. Question. Can you drink two bottles of soju? Easily. Do you enjoy drinking it, though? Not at all. Well, then you're my ideal type because apparently <laughs> if you drink at least two bottles of soju and you're not, like, in intoxicated, eat, intoxicated, but you don't really enjoy drinking, then you're the ideal type. Now some interesting nitty gritty stuff about Korean family life. Ideally you should be an only child. Ideally your boyfriend's parents should live outside the city who visit maybe once a year so that they're not really interfering in your life all too much. I think that's like an around the world thing though. Don't yeah, you think? Like, I why like I hope my in-laws live upstairs for me so we can all visit each other and yeah. hold hands. Now there are a couple things that we think are a little bit WTF. I'm touching your butt right now. No. You guys can't see this but. Oh. Rule number three must be able to pat each butts. other's butts. Speaking of which is actually a really funny one which I think is a joke. Who is kind and bold enough to dance naked if the wife says so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance! Dance! If you're dating a K-pop idol, I'm sure you would definitely do that all the time. Rain does it anyways. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> now one of the negative things that comes out of having all these ideals is that a lot of Korean guys feel a lot of stress because a lot of these ideals are extremely unrealistic with the pressure they have in society. And not only is it stressful for the guy regarding like how much money they make and the job that they have, it seemed like there wasn't a big emphasis on like personality. If they get, like, along, if they get along together well. well, like are they both artistic together? Do they have the same interests? It's more a matter of like how foundationally solid are you? You can't really predict love in my opinion. Like you might meet somebody who is a dinosaur who likes to... This is my charming smile dinosaur. Dance. It's a really charming smile. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know who you're gonna meet. What if you meet an art student that you totally fall in love with and he's a sweet, awesome, amazing guy who wants to open up a coffee shop and doesn't make that much money, but you could be really happy for the rest of your lives. You're gonna turn that down just because some guy graduated from a better university? I don't know. So what do you guys think about this list of ideal types? Is it the same as things that are in your country or are there ideal things in your country that are not on this list whatsoever? Mm. Let us know in the comment section below. So that's it for this week's TLDR. If you have a question for next TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. Or check out the questions already asked and you can thumb them up to bring them to our attention. And don't forget to subscribe for more TLDRs where we tell you how to date and fall in love. I would not follow this advice to date and fall in love. This is bad advice. No, it's kind of more like arranged marriage advice. It does seem very arranged, Doesn't it? Yeah. I'd say. 